I wanna hang out and crash at your place, or to take out and get rid of all this space, all this space. If you know us, you know how how dear Paul is to his brothers and to Tish and me. Um, I'll tell you, Larissa is very dear to us as well. Uh, we, she's been very generous of giving us plenty of time to get to know her and meet her. And it's so exciting to see how happy she and Paul are together and frankly, how good they are for each other. So, um, Paul, Larissa, we, we're, we're all here to celebrate your, your ceremony, your beginning of this wonderful journey of marriage and to support you in it. And uh, we all, you know, wish you the very best with all, all of our hearts. And so please join me in a toast to Paul and Larissa. And thank you for being here. Paul and Larissa wrote a mission statement. I'm gonna read um, a part of it to you. It's the third paragraph. Together we will build a great life, a strong family leaving a legacy of goodness grounded in the way we treat other people. And they're speaking here of their love for each other and the world, love for you and the world around them, but maybe the operative word is will. You're not saying this is just what we feel like or what we believe in. You're saying this is what, how we're gonna act. This is how we're gonna live. You're not confusing the feeling, the saying of love with the doing of love. I'll just share a few words about these two uh, with all of you fine folks. The first word will be pretty familiar to those of you who know Pablo. And that word's gonna be passionate how he approaches his work, how he approaches his self-improvement, really just a role model there. He is relentless in the pursuit of follicular perfection as well. Larissa, I always have and always will be proud to be your mom. Oh, you are kind, nice, sweet, and more. I wish you both happiness as life has to offer. Let's raise a, our glass for Larissa and Paul. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Take you, Larissa. I, Larissa, take you, Paul. From this time onward, to join with you. And to share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. And in our life together. To be loyal to you, with my whole being. As long as we, as long as we both live. shall live. When Larissa fosters a puppy prior to it being adopted, she follows that puppy's life and is part of that puppy's life forever. That is the kind of love she has to give. Uh, and she taught three boys how to properly celebrate their mother's birthday. Apparently we've been doing that wrong for a long, long, long time. Uh, so thank you, Larissa, for your inspiration, your infectious love and compassion, and how you uplift us all. Larissa, you are one of the strongest people I know. You left Bosnia as a child, moved to Scotland and then to America, and you didn't even know a word of English. I personally can't imagine what that was like, but I can see that you let it empower you, and as a result, you've accomplished so much in your career and in your experiences, and you're truly an inspiration to me. 
Larissa, uh, we are so excited, us little brothers, to be able to call you our very cool older sister. So, congratulations. Now, Paul and Larissa, before this company of friends, you've taken hands and you've given and received rings and you've exchanged the vows. I pronounce it's your husband and wife together. You may kiss the bride. I remember conversations with Larissa in the early days of the relationship. She would somehow manage to relate any general topic of conversation about him. Someone would be talking about Italian food, and Larissa would interject, Oh, that's so funny, Paul loves Italian food. Someone would say that they live in an apartment, and Larissa goes, Oh, that's funny, Paul actually lives in an apartment as well. Paul, you were really all we talked about for the first little bit. They say that love is friendship set on fire, and I hope that your fire burns for an eternity. Let's raise our glass to the couple of the 